Hey, you guys, it's Anne Marie. Oh, 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 oh. Happy Turn Up Tuesday. Tell it like it is Tuesday. Tear down the walls Tuesday. Uh, the Judge, Poetic Justice Tuesday. <laughs> ancestors, what are the secrets we need to know? We have Secrets of the Ancestors Oracle. Thank you. To our high vibrate ancestors, spirit. Oh, good cow. Oh, it didn't fall down. I guess we're supposed to get these three. <laughs> I love spirit. Number 15, which would be six, the trickster, ego and excess. That. Look at his ego. He got. He's like. But what's interesting, it's spider webs. If you look at him, I don't want the cards to blow away. If you look at him, everything, it's hard to tell. His wings have, like, cobwebs in them. His, his little veil has little cobwebs in it. And he's trying to keep these people attached with these cobwebs. And he's, it, 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 wow. So the bottom half of his body is like an animal, some type of spider, a bunch of legs. And even the legs are attached to these people. The green legs, and they turn into, like, his little claws into them. As well as his his web someone's trying to get you involved in some bullshit but they can't because you're the high priest and the high priestess number two the high priestess intuition and knowingness that's why this energy or this situation they know that you're the high priestess they know that you carry weight with your word they know that you're of the light and this is why they're really trying they're really working hard they're really like weaving this web they may be trying to go through other people to get to you, what's the next one? Number 25, Mother of Fire, Shine and Rise. Yeah. This is, the energies are fluent, you know, feminine or masculine energies. It doesn't, for these. She has a black cat, two goats, a, uh, a baby of color and a Caucasian baby, possibly a lighter skin baby, one on each breast. And the neck of, uh, like, behind the hair of the goats or whatever, there's eggs. But also the children that are laying with the black cat are also holding eggs. Hmm. Someone, something that you're trying to birth, something that you've been working on, something that you've been nourishing and feeding. This could be your own self-growth. This could be a project. This could be your own business. Whatever it is that you've been <clears throat> really nourishing and feeding, spreading it around. Somebody, what spirit? Spirit is saying that there is a, an Oz, if you will. There's an Oz. But there's also, the Oz also has little flying monkeys that they have attached to them. And if you look at the people's faces, they don't even, like, seem to be bothered by it. So they may not even know that they're under these illusions or these traps. But they, this person is, like, really called into people. Oh, yeah, spell work, binding work. They've done some spell work. They've done binding work to you. Or maybe not to you, but to these people. Thank you, Spirit, to the people that are the flying monkeys. This person's in their ego. However, they're, they're not too far in their ego to know that they can't directly come at you. And so they've attached themselves to other people, other energies to come towards you. But due to, like I said, because you're the high priest or priestess, I, I don't know why we don't have the magician card in here, but because of this, look at how beautiful this is. Your intuition and your knowingness, you're like, mm, I've seen this before. I know these people, do they know spirit? It's a mixed bag here. Some of you may know that the Oz has other people that are trying to come in your energy. You may like, this energy seems familiar. It may be a different person, a different situation, but something is going to tell your intuition because of your past experiences. You have a knowing now because you've been through so much shit. You're going to be like, why is this person, they're going to ask you certain questions about certain things. And it's going to, it's I just seen like a ping, like something turn in your brain, like ping. Like, why would they ask me that question? Why would they want to know that? It's because there's somebody else that have them in their web. 
this person has uh, spirit. It is indefinitely this person that, that, that Oz, the ringleader, this, this, this trickster in their ego has definitely done a lot of binding work to people. It's a masculine and a feminine. So this, this trickster has been putting illusions, casting their web into the masculine and feminine. This also may be the trickster trying to keep two divine counterparts to get, uh, uh, separate. They may be trying to attach themselves to keep them separate because these two are going through the same exact thing, but they're not connected any other way besides this trickster. So that may be another part of it too. There may be high crow. Oh my God, how many? One, two, three. Three crow. I just saw three crows. That may resonate for some of you. Yeah. And they're doing it in excess. It's like it's it's because of their ego. Um, for that part of this, uh, for that part of the message, that this person may be trying to keep two people apart, or not want people to talk, or you know. Um, so that could be another part of this. Where are we at? We're at six. Okay. Can we get? Um, I don't want them to blow away. So, all right. Why don't we just go with? Is this Oracle of the Universe? I don't have my books in front of me, so let's get some more clear. Fires on this please, spirit. <laughs> what do we need to know? Ah, moving forward, sorry. Oh, awesome. Number 33. Eagle, creation. We pulled this last night. You might be able to see how pretty the card is. You are creation. Just like in this other card where she's, where's she at? Pull back up. I lost it. Mother of fire, look. Look at everything that she's creating. Everything that she's nourishing. Spirit is saying that this is part of your creation as well. Going through these experiences. Spirit is saying also, for some of you, this may be a message for some of you to cleanse your space and cleanse yourself. Because you may not realize that people put binding work on you. If you're thinking that you can't uh, stop thinking about someone or things just haven't been meshing with somebody, now if they're toxic and you're toxic, then this isn't for you, okay? I'm simply saying that you may not realize that the people put, put, been put, my channel gets so fast, put binding work on you, trying to bind you to them or trying to keep you away from a person or a situation. They may not want you to know, but... Because you're of this creation, because that you've nursed these things and because that your body and soul, it's, I just see like this um, person just coming out of the earth, but not as a person, but as an energy of like this powerful creative energy. And that's, this person is really trying to possibly bind you or bind people around you so they won't come towards you. Because that's what it really looks like in this other card of this ego guy. It's like... He's keeping them separate. He has two separate. I mean, if he if he wanted them all to encompass everybody, if he wants to encompass, I make shit up. Words I don't make shit up. I mean, I'm just speaking how it comes out. They would have been like joined with it with this, um, with their hand or with their claws or whatever, and with this um, spider web. His whole life. This definitely is masculine. It's been about illusions and create illusions for everyone, getting everybody to tap dance for him. He's a trickster. Yeah. It's like, oh, I swear to God. This is someone, it's some, probably a religious person or someone, a fake spiritualist, a fake prophet. Oh, I swear my spirituality. Oh, I'm from this tribe or I'm this or I'm that with the right hand. But with their left hand, they're creating trauma. I didn't mean to say trauma, but that's what's happening in the community or in this group setting. They're creating chaos and they're doing it excessively. Again, we're out of time. They're doing it excessively. Spirit is saying, what can we go move for real quick, Spirit? Cleanse your energy. Continually cleanse your energy. If you're not sure if you have a pendulum, um, set your pendulum, cleanse your pendulum, and ask your pendulum directly if it's A, B, or C. You're going to do one question at a time. Um, someone needs to do an A cleanse. Spirit of saying, and sage your ha your house and your car, by the way. I hope you're healthy and happy, full of joy. May you love and be loved. Heal. Don't harm. Have a great day.